day 53. I'm looking so ragged. My hair is just a disaster. But it is Friday. Looking forward to the weekend. Even though the weather is, you know, supposed to be cold. Which kind of sucks. I was hoping it was going to be like last week and where the weather was so beautiful. But doesn't matter. Weekend. Super excited for that. And yeah, it's crazy that we're like closing in on 60 days of this. Tomorrow I have to go into town, I need to deliver some syrup, and then I'm also picking up a plant for my mom because it is Mother's Day on Sunday and she really wants a Monstera. And they've been out of stock at the jungle and they got more in, so I got her one along with a nice pot to put it in for now. So I'm gonna do that and I think my parents are going into town too, so we'll meet and then I will give her her plant. I'm looking forward to the weekend. Oh, an update on sort of when possibly be going back to work. Long story short, still don't know. They are starting to open up more in Ontario. Like greenhouses are now open as of today. Greenhouses and nurseries they are following similar guidelines to grocery stores where you can actually go in and shop but only so many people can go in at once and just very strict guidelines and still keeping distance i think hardware stores are opening as of saturday because they've been closed to going and shop but most of them have been doing curbside pickup so i believe they'll now be open they've said that i think as of Monday retail stores are allowed to open as long as they have an outdoor entrance. So stores that are in malls and things like that will still be closed. But if you're able to do curbside pickup and have an entrance outside, then you can be open. But still for retail stores, you can't go in and shop. It's just you either call or order online and do curbside pickup. That's where we're at. Our state of emergency originally going to the 15th I think that's when the next one ends but my work has been told because we're a public place that we're closed until May 19th so that's kind of where we're at right now and then that's after the Victoria Day long weekend so we'll find out then what the next steps are still don't know I still think that we're probably gonna be closed longer because you know, we are a public space, but who knows? Because our numbers in Ontario are still climbing. They aren't going down. So opening more up, I think they're probably just gonna keep going up. So that's a little scary. I don't think we need to rush into opening, but that's what's happening. And it's snowing out. It's snowing out and it is the beginning of May. Happy Friday. I'm gonna get in an Orange Theory workout and yeah, relax. It's Friday, Friday. Hey, gotta get down on Friday. Everybody's looking forward to the weekend. weekend. And that one's out of stock, but if you run, you can always buy something else. So it is now day 54. It is Saturday. I am just about to head into town. I'm gonna pick up my mom's Mother's Day gift, drop off some syrup, probably might even go to one of the nurseries that is now open, even though I can't plan anything right now because I don't know if you can tell, but that's snow in the back of my car. Snow. It's so cold. Still, it's only zero right now. It's crazy. We should be done with this. And it feels like it's more fall moving into winter right now with all this new snow. So, yeah, that's the plan. I'm gonna get to it. So, I'm back from town, back from doing all my running around. My hair is everywhere because I've been wearing it too cold day because it is so cold. I mean, it's not super cold. It's just cold for this time of year. You know, last weekend it was 15, I was wearing shorts. 
Now we're back to like mitts, gloves, and warmer jackets and snow. It sucks. So I'm just gonna quickly show you a couple things that I picked up. I got some stuff to plant outside and some hanging baskets, but of course it's too cold, so they're gonna have to live inside for a couple weeks till I definitely know that it's not gonna freeze anymore. So I got these beautiful coleus. I wasn't planning on really getting any plants for outside because I know I can't plant them. But these are so pretty and so big already that I just, I was afraid if I wait a couple weeks, I won't be able to get them. They are so pretty. And then also for right now, hanging in my spare room are two ivies that are going to be going outside. I have this grand idea. I've got some driftwood. I'm going to hang it in sort of a covered area so they're not going to be getting direct sun. So I'm going to hang them from the driftwood so that hopefully they will kind of climb up and wrap around the driftwood in my head. I feel like that's going to look really cool. So we'll see if it actually happens. So we've got Algerian ivy and another ivy. I can't remember what this one's called. I have one of those already that's inside. And then, you know, I'll have to figure out come fall when I need to bring it inside what I do because I obviously don't want them to die. That's future Rachel's problem. Then I also got this. She is so cute. And she masters my mustache man. I think I mentioned at one point that I kind of wanted to get her. She came with this. It was a deal. They didn't actually have any left of her on her own, but whatever. It's a cute little arrangement. I also got a new philodendron cordum. That might be wrong. It is some type of philodendron and then another pothos marble queen because I'm liking the added greenage to my boat, so. Pothos, philodendron. And lastly, I just got this little peperomia because I just thought he was so cute. In this pot. So that's everything I got in town. I wasn't gonna work out today, but I got really hungry and I ate a and w for lunch and I think we're having pizza for supper. So really feeling like I need to get a workout in. So I'm gonna do that right now. And then probably just relax for the rest of the day. Maybe play some Fortnite. So, just about to get my workout in. As you know, I have been mainly concentrating on all the Orange Theory workouts that they've been posting on their website for you to do at home. So I've kind of been neglecting my C Gym membership. I actually did one of Zuska's workouts a couple days ago and it felt really good to get back in those. I'm gonna do another one of those today, especially too because they're quite a bit shorter and I still feel like I'm getting, you know, just as good a workout. So I am going to do that right now. <laughs> Showing off Don't wanna have to wait tonight Wait tonight Bets are off I'm gonna find my way tonight Wait tonight
snow day, 55. It is Sunday and no, it's nicer day than yesterday with all the snow and super cold. It's still fairly chilly out, there's a breeze, lots of clouds. When the sun is shining, it's not too bad, but still kind of cold. But we just spent most of the day outside clearing brush and Jesse cut down a few trees, some for sort of sugar wood, some that were just sort of in the way. Eventually, if they'd ever fall down, they would probably do some damage. So got all that done. Felt good to just be outside. So I actually have like new plans for the backyard since we've done some clearing. A bit of a bird fight going on between gross peaks. Sorry. I got distracted by the birds. I'm gonna scare them away. Sorry guy. Sorry, it's super windy out here. We like cleared a lot of the trees that were in this area. Now Jesse wanted to also clear this guy, but I kind of fought for him does look a little strange just now there all by himself but that is where all the birds sit if I am outside and they're waiting for the bird feeder and I just love seeing them all sitting up in that tree and I can also see that tree from inside so I can see them all sort of sitting in it so until it gets to the point where it looks like it could possibly fall we're gonna leave it for the birds so to make it maybe not look as strange just sitting there by itself. Said I'm going to put a little flower bed in front of it. Mainly just hostas because they're cheap and they grow anywhere. Also down here, like it's gonna be a little tricky to build, but I'm gonna kinda do something like that in the front. Cause this water is the runoff from our waterfall. So, you know, I don't want to build something that's just gonna get washed away but something with the stones around it with some hostas. I think that'll look cool. And then also from just doing some clearing and raking, I've decided I'm going to expand this flower bed. I've got a pelican down, pelican down. I think I'm gonna extend this guy there. Mainly again, just with some hostas because they're basically like plant them, forget them, and they look great. So I think that's what I'm gonna do there and I think it'll look really nice. Hi Conan. Hey pepperoni. He had lots of fun outside today. Rolled in some stuff. I'm hoping it's just leaves. He doesn't really smell, so I'm hoping I don't have to give him a bath. So my next order of business is to take care of this poor soul that I abandoned. This is my desert rose tree that I got last summer. And this winter, I pretty much completely neglected it and didn't touch it at all. As you can see, like this point and this point are all dried up and dead. Like I think it's like shriveled up to like here. So I was ready to abandon it. But as you can see, it's shooting out growth here and here. So it's clearly still alive but I watched some videos and I think I'm gonna prune back the dead spots. And I think that's supposed to make it even flourish some more and I now know I'm gonna keep watering this guy and then next winter I will water it slightly more but clearly it doesn't need a lot of water in the winter because I don't even think I watered this guy in the fall. I just kind of forgot about him. So I'm going to prune this and see how that goes. Now, I do know that their sap is toxic, so I'm gonna put some gloves on, and then I'm not gonna throw these parts outside. Just gonna throw them in the garbage, because I don't want anything to, you know, get poisoned by them. Kind of crazy that this guy is still going. So, let's do this. All right. Got my little pruning snips, and little alcohol wipes. Sterilize. Apparently I'm supposed to do this. Those are clean. Put my gloves on. Funny story. So 
uh, this used to be on a stand in the living room and it was just sitting there and still it doesn't get a ton of light it's a darker area in the house and it was just sitting on the end table and at our Halloween party one of my friends said oh is that a mandrake from Harry Potter if you're a Harry Potter fan there the plants you pull out and they scream and a full-grown mandrake could kill you by its scream but I jokingly said yeah you should try pulling it out too and we're like no just kidding it's a tree <laughs> but at that point I still thought it was dead so I'm like honestly I think it's dead so it won't matter if you pull it out but I'm glad that we didn't I didn't go full force with that joke because he's clearly still alive so we've got a tiny bit of growth right here so I I think I'm just gonna cut it just above. And then there's some juices coming out of there. And then I think maybe I'll cut this one here. It's pretty, pretty dead up at this point. Yeah. The video I watched, the guy like majorly cut his back, like even if he had leaves coming out of it. So it makes me wonder if I should do a little more with mine. I don't know, I'm afraid. Okay, so because I'm a chicken, that's what we're gonna do for now. Just the two. I promise I'm now gonna start taking care of this guy, watering it when it needs it. And hopefully, this guy starts to thrive a little bit more now that I have really grown my love for plants and actually enjoy taking care of them. Yeah, fun stuff. I know, so exciting. Cutting two limbs off a tree. I will be sure to update you on how this guy's doing. So now I've got a shower because I found two ticks on me already. I'm guaranteed that there are more. Relax the rest. So we're at day 59. It's Thursday. I'm still working. Internet is super slow as usual, and I'm trying to download a video that I then have to edit and re upload. Anyway, I think one of my tasks I'm going to do today, probably during lunch, is going to be a pain. A couple months ago, I had to take all the books off my bookshelf just so I could shift it over a couple inches to make room for a plant stand. And now I have to do the exact same thing with my hutch over there. I feel like I could maybe push it, but it is so full of breakable stuff, wine glasses, that I just feel like it could be a disaster if I leave everything in it. I gotta do the same thing, take everything out, push it over a couple inches, yet again to make room for another plant stand. This plant stand my dad is actually custom making for me, so it will fit where that is. That's gonna be moved because I have this big vision. I bought this fake cow skull that I'm going to hang there and then I'm hoping the two plants that are gonna go at the top of the plant stand are gonna be vining and I'm hoping I can make them climb up and then wrap around the horns of the skull. That's the plan, not gonna be fun, but it's gotta be done if I want you know my vision to take place because currently the cow skull won't fit where that picture is. So gotta shift things around. Day 59. Tomorrow, Friday. Friday before a long weekend is day 60. Crazy. So it actually wasn't that bad. I didn't take out everything. I just took out the wine glasses and flutes that I figured would probably knock over pretty easily when I was shoving it. But the things that seem more stable, which is most of it, I left and then I just took my plants down and I was able to shove it. I'm doing it now. I still have to wait for my dad to build the plant stand before I hang my skull because I want to make sure that I get it in the right spot. But take a look at this guy. Isn't he so cool? I got this from a company called White Faux Taxidermy. I've ordered from them in the past because I love moose heads and stuff like that, but I also hate real ones. I love animals, so I don't love the idea of hunting and stuff like that. But I've just always loved the look of like skulls and things like that. I know, it's weird. So I have my T-Rex 
one that's in my gym and then I have my moose one that is over in our living area and yeah I just think this is so cool and the other two that I got in the past were just all white this I got with the gold accented horns and then I just love the detailing of the carved out so he's gonna go there I think it's gonna look awesome I'm not gonna lie, I actually have another order from White Faux Taxidermy coming in. It hasn't shipped yet, but they were having a big spring sale and I just love the idea of vines wrapping around the horns. So I also bought a deer head from White Faux Taxidermy with bronze antlers. So it's not, this is my first one that actually looks like a skull my moose and T-Rex head just look like, you know, the animal. And so the deer one is also not going to be a skull. It's the deer head with bronze horns. And I'm hoping to sort of do the same sort of thing, but just I'll get a little shelf to go on the wall underneath it and then have them come up on the horns. Not going to do a whole plant stand. Probably going to go up in the bedroom or something because running out of wall space. So when that happens, I will show that, but it's probably not for a while because it takes a while to get here. <laughs>